The episode starts with... <laughs> Well, what looks like a space lamange coming out of the sea. Well, nope. It's a guy all in a rubber suit who then turns into, I guess, kind of what I would look like if I, if I ever exercised or stopped eating for, you know, five minutes. And yet, this fish, and yet... Well, just look at the reaction of this fisherman. Good morning. Can you direct me to Little Baisley? Eh? Over there. Turn left at the crossroads. Thank you. Looks like rain. unfazed. Ben, melodramatic music, and episode title. This would become a staple of the format of the Avengers. Give us something completely inexplicable, completely strange to hook us in, and then cut to who John Steed and Emma Peel. By the way, if Steve's voice sounds at all familiar to any of you science fiction fans out there and you're trying to place why, it may be because when you fell in love with when you all were falling over the new Battlestar Galactica, you decided to stream some old epi some episodes of the old Battlestar Galactica and he was not only the voice of the Imperious leader on that sh of the Cylons on that show, but he also provided the he also provided the opening narration. There are those who believe that life here began out there. You know that. But anyway, here is where I talk about the shift in tone. Oftentimes, Kathy Gale had to have her arm twisted to make her ca. Um, along. Here, well, if you just watch this scene, you will see. We are introduced to the character by just, well, I'm showing her name on a doorbell outside her apartment. And, well, we are shown why these two are the gold standard of television chemistry. Lots of shows have tried to do this sort of mystery adventure format with two flirty stars who may be doing something behind the scenes or may not. The producers had to say at the time because of British censors that of course they weren't. That is why despite the fact that until her final episode we never even hear Emma Peel speak of a husband and their banter is very and her banter with John Steed is very flirty she is still Mrs. Emma Peel so they so the producers could tell the British TV censors no 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 there's nothing going on behind the scenes the actors have at various times given differing opinions on whether or not they thought their characters were actually doing anything behind the scenes but it doesn't really matter the mystery and the playfulness of it all helps carry many an episode. Many of the things, many of the, many of the things that, that modern audiences will find boring besides the fact that it's in black and white and many modern audiences will not watch black and white programming, their loss, is that, well, they, it is slower paced. It is 1960s paced. But 
The advantage of that, I believe, is that a mystery is slowly revealed. And you see them step by step putting it together, and the scale of the threat that they face is given to us, bit by bit. And, well, scenes like the following help fill out the episodes throughout their run, and help carry the slower pace. Just watch this scene and tell me if this is not immediately hitting it out of the park. So far as chemistry, dialogue, and, well, everything else that makes a couple of stars interesting to watch on a show are. And imagine them solving a mystery while going through all of this every week. And I think you'll see what I mean. Good morning, Mrs. Peel. Good morning, Steed. The door's open. Social visit? That's it. Happened to be passing by. Thought I'd drop in. The coffee's over there. Not enough flexibility in the wrist. Wait on the wrong foot. Friendly advice. There doesn't appear to be any cream. The cream is in the kitchen. Oh. I could take it black. Just now? Not very. I've just written an article for the Science <coughs> Weekly, but that's finished. Oops. Bye. Just interested. Marvellous day today. Certainly not the sort of day to be stuck in town, is, is it? We ought to get away. Down to the coast for a while. We? Why not? We can build sandcastles together. I refuse to carry your bucket and spade. Brisk walks along the, along the seashore. Sand beneath your feet. The breeze snatching at your hair. Have you ever fancied yourself as a school teacher? That was very, very dirty. You're quite right. But I didn't promise to fight fair. No worry about driving. We'll take the train. When did you buy the tickets? Yesterday morning. We'll have to hurry. The train leaves in less than an hour. I'll explain the details to you on the way down. And where are we going? Little Baisley by the sea. So we're, so we're off to the story proper. They get on the train, only to discover the greatest disaster of them all has befallen them. Milk or lemon? Lemon. It'll have to be milk. Steed, you're the perfect English gentleman. You're the gold standard. Maybe along with Bertie Worcester, but you, um kick butt and take names while not getting a crease in your suit. How could you have forgotten the lemon? Mm. 